The animal kingdom is adorned with patterns, colours, spots and stripes. The varied and diverse markings can be used to attract a potential love interest, scare away a predator, oh, it's a creepy eye thing, or for camouflage. Wait, I don't see an... an oh, oh, make it go away. That's better. Look at this fellow, flaunting his polka dot pelt, one of the fashionistas of the animal kingdom. Have you ever wondered, how did the leopard get its spots? We're going to have to learn a little something about mathematics. Alan Turing, mathematician, cryptographer and father of computer science, is most popularly known for his code-breaking skills at Bletchley Park during World War II. Lesser known is Turing's work in the field of theoretical biology, the mathematical study of biological systems. He was fascinated by the patterns of animals and how they form, particularly when it came to cows. Yeah, not a lot of leopards in the English countryside. Anyway, Turing asked himself, how do a bunch of identical cells in an embryo organise themselves into patterns? He believed that you could use mathematical models to describe this process. He came up with a theory about the process known as morphogenesis, a reaction diffusion system between chemicals, which he called morphogens. One chemical is an activator that creates pigment, and another chemical is an inhibitor which inhibits the process of the activator. When these chemicals diffuse and react, they create patterns like stripes. If there are two sets of reactions crisscrossing each other, this creates spots. Turing hypothesized that this process is governed by a set of partial differential equations. Yeah, just take my word for it. Turing's ideas have been developed to simulate the various markings in nature. Changing the parameters of the equations will change the patterns you get. These equations don't just produce spots and stripes, they can produce labyrinthine patterns, donut shapes, patterns you find on shells, the patterns of the animal kingdom. There was no way for Turing to prove his theory at the time, and we still don't know how accurate it is, but recently biochemists have discovered chemicals working as Turing predicted. It's not the complete answer, but it's the first step to understanding. There's obviously a lot more at play here, but before Turing, no one had asked the question in the same way. The story to understanding starts with a man who was curious about cows. How did the leopard get its spots? Perhaps it's down to a matter of mathematics. <laughs>